Everyone wants to spin it more in the bunker, don't they? You need two things, first of all. You need a premium golf ball, Pro V1, Pro V1X, a premium spinning ball, and a clean, dry, freshly milled, preferably, club face. Those two things are going to really help you add friction to the ball, and friction and speed is what creates spin. So people are often scared of, of, of uh, trying to spin it more in the bunker because, you know, if you miss time it, you can thin it miles through the green and they start decelerating, hit it, hit it kind of in front of them. You've got to have some conviction to it, number one. You've got to step into the shot with conviction. So, you know, if the flag's 12 o'clock on a clock face, I'm going to aim my body at 11 o'clock here for this high spinning uh, shot into this flag here. I'll get, get my feet, knees, hips and shoulders all aiming at 11 o'clock. There's 12. I'm going to get the ball forward in my stance a little bit, open the club face, get the, the hover the, the club about an inch behind the ball and get the hands down and back. Very important, you get your hands down and back. And I'm going to take my center of gravity down and back as well. I don't want to stand in a conventional way. I've got to lower my center of gravity. Then what you've got to do from here is have the conviction to make a full back swing here. Really convict yourself, put some, some um, a turn into it, get the club kind of at the top where the toe's hanging a little bit. And then what you do on the way down really is the key. So from here, I've got to make sure I shallow the club and get it nice and wide. But the absolute key move that not many people kind of know about and talk about is through the ball. What you've got to do is slow the handle down and release the right hand under, keeping the club pointing towards me. That little move there of slowing the handle down and releasing the right hand makes the ball climb on the face, stick to the face, and creates a massive amount of friction and spin, increases what's called the dynamic loft, and alters what's called the spin loft. That gets the ball up in the air, that gets it spinning and buzzing, that'll impress your buddies. So, a lot of conviction, have a little practice swing, nice and, and complete, shallow, and it almost feels like a scoop it a little bit. You do that, it takes a bit of practice. Not many people put much practice into their bunker shots. But when you do that, you start to get proficient at it, you start to get confident at it, and you start looking at these, these difficult shots with spin uh, a, a lot differently compared to other people, and it can be a real advantage to your game. Get yourself a premium golf ball, premium golf club, improve your technique, and have some courage. You're gonna spin it like you cannot believe.